All right, if you're thinking of moving to the San Antonio metro area, well, this is the channel for you. Okay, on this video, I'm going to talk to you about the pros and cons of living in San Antonio, Texas. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Lily Handy Dominguez and I am a realtor in the San Antonio metro area. If this is your first time in this channel and you want to know everything about San Antonio metro area, well, I post a lot of videos about everything you need to know about San Antonio. So remember to tap that subscribe button and ring that little bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And we get lots of calls, text messages, emails every single day from people looking to either move or relocate here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking of moving, relocating to the San Antonio area, well, reach out to us, give us a call, send us a text message, email us, or even send that little pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back with moving to San Antonio. Okay, so now the seven pros and cons of living in San Antonio, Texas. You'll want to stay for the last one, the most important one. So make sure you stay to listen to the seventh one. So I want to share to you a pro number one, it, why I moved to San Antonio, Texas. And actually all seven is why I moved to San Antonio, Texas. Even though I'm original native San Antonian, I had been gone for 38 years, so I have moved a lot. So the, I rated four major cities in San Antonio, I mean in, in Texas. So one of them, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, and Houston. And I looked at overall average of Texas and uh, how it compared to the United States. So I'm showing you a, a chart that I created so that you can see that San Antonio rates the lowest out of all those four major cities. When it comes to cost of living, okay, the index compared to 100%, which is what uh, the sizes or the cost of living is compared to for major cities or areas in, in the United States and Texas. So you go for the 100, below 100 or above 100. San Antonio is in about the index of 90. So all the groceries, transportation, transportation might be one of the highest uh, that we have closer to 100. But uh, medical, utilities, uh, uh, groceries, okay, uh, housing, apartments, an average of two bedroom apartments, it all is a lower cost of living for San Antonio, Texas. Even the miscellaneous costs are lower in San Antonio. So that was one of my first concerns about moving to San Antonio. Now, on the con, the first con is that San Antonio has a sales tax of 8.25. It also has property taxes that are high and keep going up, up and up and up. However, you can protest those every year so that you can reduce your property because there is a lot of construction in the San Antonio area. And, but even though we have high property taxes and sales tax, we don't have state income tax. One of the other cons is that there is housing shortage and we have a lot of influx and outflux because we have a large military base. So although we may have housing shortage there are homes available in all price ranges all areas of san antonio and the suburb so number two pros and cons so number two pros are the housing and neighborhood areas we have beautiful awesome neighborhoods for all price ranges and in the downtown area in the north east, northeast northwest west east those are the main prop popular areas of the San Antonio. And of course we do have the South area, which is going towards South Padre Island. We're about four hours from the coast going south on 281. And then we are about two and a half hours going towards uh, Galveston, Houston area. So there's a beach access in both. 
But all these neighborhoods that we have, there you will find what you need. Okay, so some of the favorite neighborhoods that we have in San Antonio, there are many. I won't be able to mention them all, but I'll be creating other videos for you to watch on a particular neighborhood that you may be interested in. And if I haven't mentioned it, please comment below and let me know what neighborhoods or what area of San Antonio you would like me to research and make a video on it. So we have like Alamo Heights, Castorville, Castle Hills, the Dominion, that's a very high end area going towards the Northwest. We have the uh, Hebner area, which is in the medical center. Oh, we have Government Hill, Hill Country, Leon Valley, Stone Oaks, Almost Park. Almost is also a very high end. We have some of our multi, multi millionaires living on that area. So there are many, many to choose from and it can get overwhelming and confusing. So you'll wanna make sure that you get a realtor and a lender to help you through this process and help you narrow it down so that you don't get overwhelmed. Now some awesome suburbs that are around the Northwest, North, Northeast, and even South, we have uh, Bull Verde, Bandera, okay, those are going west, and northwest, and north. We have Springs Branch. We have Bernie going to the west, northwest, Elotes. We also have on the northeast, we have Life Oak, and then going a little bit further south on west, we have Converse, Selma, uh, Universal City, um, Shirts. A lot of other smaller communities where even taxes will be a little bit lower and the property taxes and also the cost of living will be a little bit lower. So there is a lot to choose from, from the suburbs. And some of the suburbs are, oh, it could be 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. So the cons to housing a neighborhood is that there are so many available. <laughs> Hard to choose from where to live, um, I had a challenge. So I decided to rent before I purchase. And so that's an option you may consider, is to rent before you decide to purchase. And I can help you with that. There are lots of apartments, condos, townhomes, homes uh, in the Riverwalk area, which is downtown. You could get a feel for that area. But throughout San Antonio and suburbs, there are many apartments available and some homes that you could find for a temporary stay until you find until we find your perfect home okay my number three pro and con is the weather the weather is very comfortable okay however because we have uh, warm cool winters we don't have extremely cold winters. sometimes it'll go down to 29 but that won't last very long and that is in about January and then our uh, spring rainy season starts around March and it'll be around 70 65 to 85 in that time our hottest month is July and August which is about an average of 95 it does go above 100 to about 105 so that's when it gets unbearable. However, it's something that you can live with. There's air conditioning in the cars, uh, in your home, apartment, and also in all the department stores. We do have some, when it rains, okay, in the March to May, like we had a little bit of hail, which is not very common in the area. However, when it rains, it pours. And uh, we do get some flash flood warnings coming from the hill country. I mean, when it massively rains uh, and it pours, it collects rather quickly. And it happens not only in San Antonio, but in other surrounding large communities. So the year round temperature, it's, um, it's comfortable. We have many summer months. So if you're an outdoor person and you love to do lots of activities, Hey, motorcycle riding, bicycling, you like to go scuba diving, you can go scuba diving in the winter months in the Kumal River, which is about 30, 45 minutes uh, northeast of San Antonio. And you can be doing outdoor exercises, walking, jogging, going to parks, everything is open year round. Of course, the pools 
It's an awesome activity in the summer. I love going swimming in the summer to freshen up and cool off. So many homes do have pools. If you're looking for something like that, you'll want to have a pool and we can help you with that so that you can enjoy the summer with the kids in the pool, friends, have parties. It's just an, an awesome area. If you don't have a pool, there's a lot of surrounding water areas, rivers, lakes in the hill country that you can drive for the weekend, for the Sunday. So lots and lots of activities that you can do year round. Now the con, the con is that it can get really hot, okay? And you'll get sweaty, humid, and you may want to bathe twice, three times a day, especially if you work outdoors, okay? That'll happen because it gets very humid. Not as humid as Houston or other areas, but it does get humid. And I mean, perspiration just comes out. Like somebody like me who exercises outdoors and perspires quickly, yeah, so maybe, maybe a couple of showers a day, you know, that'll happen. And however, you've got the air condition then to cool off. So things that you'll wanna do to protect yourself from that heat, the bright sun, if it bothers you, sunglasses, wear a hat, a cap, sunscreen, all right, long sleeves, things that will help you protect you from getting sun damage, okay, or sun or uh, skin cancer from the sun. But it's not as bad as many people think. So depending on what we have in the community, also helps with the temperature. The the greenery, lots of trees, really helps to create shade, then cools off your home and area. So lots of established neighborhoods in San Antonio that provide a lot of greenery to provide coolness to your home. Number four, pro and con. So the pros about San Antonio is, oh my gosh, there are tons and tons of activities, outdoor activities, indoor activities that you can do. We have many amusement parks like uh, SeaWorld. Uh, we have um, the Pearl. that You can spend time outdoors with the kids. Other amusement parks like the Hemisphere. You can go to the Alamo, which provides you with some history. We have lots of historical locations, and most of them are around the downtown area. We have the River Walk that you can shop, walk, get, go, go on a little condola on the river, and you can even rent apartments or townhomes, condos in the river walk area when you're trying to decide where you want to live. And lots of awesome food, drinking, beer. Beer is a big thing in San Antonio. San Antonio also has lots of wonderful wineries. So you wouldn't think so, but Texas has some awesome wineries. So lots and lots of things that you can try while you're also eating out. Oh, I forgot to mention, we also have an awesome zoo, Breckenridge Zoo. And the Schlitterbahn Water Park, the SeaWorld also has, you know, a lot of uh, water activity going on into it. We have also the Six Flags in addition to the Hemisphere. Those of you that are history buffs, okay, we have the Alamo Museum, the Witt Museum, uh, other types, the Mission, the Mission Park. So lots of interesting things to go see because we are an area that has two to 300 year old buildings. Okay, because remember the Alamo. So that brings us a lot of history into the area. Another activity in entertainment is going shopping. Oh my gosh, fabulous shopping. Okay, the Rim, La Cantera, North Mall, in downtown shopping centers at the Pearl. There are shopping locations throughout San Antonio that you'll just love enjoying and eating while you're shopping. And then maybe even going to the theater. Because we have a lot of, we have outlet malls. We have like the quarry that also has lots of stores. It has a theater, has restaurants. It's a very popular place to also spend the day and have activities. And of course, one of my favorite places is Starbucks. I'm a big coffeeholic. 
So Starbucks you'll find in many, many places and a lot of other quaint coffee shops. So as I mentioned before, we have lots of outdoor activities, walking, jogging, bicycling, motorcycling, going scuba diving, uh, going to dog parks throughout San Antonio, taking your dog to a completely enclosed and fenced area. San Antonio is very animal friendly, love it. And a lot of the apartments are pet friendly. Oh, and of course, we have the Spurs basketball team. People are just crazy. Lots of spirit in San Antonio and in Texas. Loud, fun, clapping, yelling. We may not have an NFL team, okay, but we have the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas, Texas. In April, we have Fiesta. It's a major festival that happens at the River Walk and there are floats, different businesses, companies, people, schools, bands. We have a huge parade, lots of food along the river walk, and it lasts for days. This year, unfortunately, it's postponed till November, so you may get a, a chance to enjoy that if it doesn't get postponed again. And of course, we have the livestock show rodeo that is very popular in San Antonio. So when you come to Texas, you might want to get a pair of boots. Not necessary, but a pair of boots, cowboy hats, okay, and uh, enjoy the country western living. Top music in the San Antonio area are Tejano, blues, uh, hard rock, we have symphony, and then you'll want to get maybe some of the other radio stations in order to listen to some other types of music. Oh, of course, country western awesome places to dance. Country Westerns for all family ages, all ages. Kids to adults to the elderly in their 80s and 90s still dancing Country Western. It's an awesome type of music to get involved with everyone. So some of the cons is that it gets really crowded on all these activities because it is popular. San Antonio is a booming area for visiting tourists, and of course the River Walk, the Six Flags, and um, the Hemisphere, SeaWorld, attracts a lot of people. So parking can become an issue in some areas, especially in the downtown. So then you'll have to pay for um, valet or park a distance away so that you can uh, not have to spend too much of your money on it. But it could range from eight to $15, okay, for the day. So it's not that bad but parking may be an issue. You can then maybe get some bicycles in the downtown area. So, you know, parking, it gets crowded. And of course, one of the cons that a lot of people don't like is that we don't have an NFL team, but that's all right. We've got the Spurs. Number five out of seven is dining, restaurants, foodies. We have lots and lots of different types of food. Of course, the number one, top is Mexican food. So if you like tacos, tamales, burritos, uh, celebrating with a margarita, you know, people everywhere all over the world love margaritas, right? And Texas beer, we have the Shiner Bach. So there are lots of restaurants. We do have uh, Mediterranean food. We have uh, Japanese. We have, you know, some Indian, Thai food. Italian. So the more typical types of restaurants, you know, we do have them here, some Vietnam, Vietnamese. Some people would say, okay, we would like a lot, but I tell you what, Texas people love to eat in addition to the barbecue. So there are a lot of choices and there's a lot of drive throughs and pick up. There's a lot of outdoor eating. You know, as, uh, one great example is the river walk. You can eat right by the river, see the gondolas, people walking through and enjoy it during a beautiful day. And you can do that year round. And of course, we also have lots of wineries that you could visit and enjoy the wine. Some of the cons that I have experienced in some of the top favorite restaurants is a waiting line and a waiting time. However, there are options like using Yelp where you can sign up in advance and you don't have to wait there at their location. However, then you will also have the ability to have some mimosas, have some beer, have some wine, have some cocktails while you wait. 
And finally, we do lack uh, some more uh, vegetarian uh, types of restaurants. There are some juice bars, and maybe not as many in areas like Oregon, California, but we do have them. Number six of seven for me was the diversity of people. Since I've lived in other states and I've traveled to a lot of other countries, to Europe, to Japan, I like meeting people from a lot of different countries. So the majority of the people that move to San Antonio, migrate here, are coming from the north, the east, the cold states, okay, from the west. So I moved back from Oregon, okay, and it's still a lot of greenery. So I love that. And the largest migration that I've researched lately is coming from Europe. So a lot of Europeans like to get away from the cold weather, yet have the greenery, diversity of people, of all levels of education and incomes and activities. It, we're just a warm, loving community. The people here are really great San Antonio hospitality. Very friendly. I enjoy it. I love it. I can easily meet people anywhere and you will too. So San Antonio is an amiable and friendly area. It's family oriented. Our median age is about 33, 34. However, we do have people that have been born and raised here and others that want to get away from their cold in their older years and move to San Antonio. We have a major military population, maybe about 100,000, and they come and go. They come in their station for one year, two years, three years, sometimes a little bit longer. So there's a lot of movement in and out. So don't be concerned if a house gets sold within a year and you're wondering, why is it getting sold in just a year? Well, there is a lot of uh, people, military, moving in and out of San Antonio. And of course, the majority population is Hispanic. But we do have a lot of different cultures, and that's what I love. The culture, the languages, the food, the customs, the traditions. I really miss that in other areas, and I get to have that in San Antonio. The con is that some people consider it a melting pot, and they're like, oh, no, you have people from all over, and some people don't like that. But, hey. There's a lot of other pros to move into San Antonio. And the people are awesome. Where are you gonna find a lot of amiable, friendly individuals like you do in San Antonio and Texas? And number seven, the one I wanted you to wait for, okay, because it is a major one for some people, is the traffic. Okay, the traffic and transportation. So that's one thing I thought about because I have lived in other big metropolitan areas and I wasn't crazy about the traffic. However, you know what? I got adjusted to it and you might get some speeding tickets, right? <laughs> because we get used to some of the fast lane. And so the expressways, we have two major loops, okay? 4 410, which is the inner loop of San Antonio, it's the oldest one, and then we have loop 1604 that also goes all the way around San Antonio. So with those two loops, if you time your departure from work and home, it'll work out for you. So in the mornings between, you know, 7.30 to 8.30, major traffic, maybe some, you know, bumper to bumper and, you know, accidents. So you'll want to be on the defensive because in some areas, right, people still think they can drive 85 miles per hour everywhere, but that's not the case. Within the, the uh, expressways, highways, you know, we have 60 miles an hour, 65, 75. And so in the evening, the high traffic's between 4.30 and 6.30, okay? So I usually plan to leave the office at 6.30 if I am in the office instead of at 5.30. So you may have to go in a little bit earlier and leave a little bit later. But there are also other side roads to take that could get you to your location. But 1604 and, and loop 410 really help out with that. And you, it'll take you, you know, northwest, east, northeast, northwest, you know, and the south. So we have Interstate 35 going through town. We have 281 going north and south. We have 35 that also takes us to Austin. 
And then we've got Highway 37 that connects with 281. On the west side, we've got 151 and 16. So there are so many um, interstates and highways that'll take you around uh, to our um, sub suburbs. So a, a commute to one of the suburbs could be, you know, 25, 30 minutes or less. So within San Antonio, it could be 15 to 30 minute commute one way, which is not so bad, even though our population here is 1.5 million. Okay, so it could be worse. It's not California. <laughs> okay, and then, of course, not all areas in California, but maybe LA, San Francisco. And then the, uh, we do have transportation, okay, which is the VIA inner city transportation. So if you live in town, you can use the VIA transit transportation system, which is not that expensive. And you can also rent bicycles and not have to, you know, drive in your car. So lots of different ways to get around San Antonio. You're not limited to just the two major loops. Okay, so the cons, they're not as bad as we think, but it's high traffic between uh, 7.30 to 8.30 in the morning when you're going through 16.04 and 4.10 or Interstate 10, which I forgot to mention. Um, and in the evening between 4.30 to 6.30. So a little bit of pre-planning, leaving a little bit earlier and departing the office a little bit later around 6.30. Now, because of the fact that San Antonio is one and a half uh, thousand, 1.5 million population and it's continuing to grow okay at a rate of about 1.5 a year there is a lot of construction 281 east and north and south has a lot of construction north because that's where a lot of our growth is you know we've got construction northwest northeast and to new Braunfels towards uh, bernie and going south however there are improvements and there are ways around it and oh, where have you been that there isn't any construction? There's almost construction all over the country, all over the world. So there you have it. The seven pros and cons of living in San Antonio. Cost of living, housing, weather, entertainment, diversity of people, traffic, and dining. Love to eat. So if you're thinking of moving, relocating to the San Antonio area, well, reach out to us, give us a call, send us a text message, email us, or even send that little pigeon carrier. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back with moving to San Antonio.